All right, it's been a hot minute since we've used the climbing gear. I think it's time to air it out. What do you think, babe? Absolutely. It's a little bit cooler today, but that's all right. We're going to head out toward the northeast side of the city to an area called Tom's Thumb. And this time, we've got a little something extra to bring with us. In today's video, we're taking you with us on what turned out to be a pretty wild climbing adventure as we test out and review an emergency preparedness pack from Getsco. So we're out here at Tom's Thumb today. It's a fantastic climbing area. It's, it's pretty, it's a little cooler, but it's nice. And you know what? Our kids have been climbing since they were three and four and have really very little fear of heights. And sometimes it scares people on our videos. Frankly, it sometimes scares us too. Now we're always trying to be the best prepared that we can be. And we have safety equipment like helmets and of course the appropriate climbing gear. But we also have this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This is the Ready Pack Combo from Getsco. And essentially, in a nutshell, what it is, is a emergency preparedness pack. It's got all sorts of useful things inside of it. This model specifically is the water resistant and fire resistant model. They also make one that is 100% waterproof. And they have a couple of different things. This is the full Monty right here. Inside the backpack, there is the Go Kit or Go Pack inside of there and you'll see lots of other room. And here is the document pouch. Also made of the same material, fire and water resistant. So you guys can quickly see what's in here. I love this thing because it's set up so that it's easy enough for like a child to use in the event of emergency. And there's a big first aid kit in here. You've got safety goggles and emergency blankets, ponchos, N95 masks. There is a solar power charger. We will get this out and talk a little more about that in a minute. An emergency crank radio instructions on how to use everything. You've got gloves, rope, light sticks, multi-tool. This pouch over here contains emergency water and food that is has like shelf life of five years. And then there are sanitary pads, toothbrushes, and things like that also in this. This thing is really cool. And it's also awesome because Getsco is offering a discount of 10% when you order this through the link in our description with the code NOP10. So make sure to check that out in the link in the description and of course, right up here too. Even if you aren't an adventurer, this is a fantastic kit to have. We do plan on keeping this in our vehicle at all times, not only for adventure stuff like this, but just in the event of any kind of disaster, whether it be natural or maybe even man-made. In light of recent events like the Kentucky tornadoes that went through, something like this would come in extreme handy because let's just take these two things for example. There's not a power grid up right now where there's things like that, or maybe think of Katrina where they didn't have power and you have your cell phone maybe, but you can't charge it. And that's where this comes in. Being water resistant and fire resistant makes it very handy because it's just there for you to grab and go if you need to, to seek shelter and not have to worry about it. For iPhone users, it comes with an exclusive companion app that has some key details of what to do if you're caught off guard by a sudden event like a tornado. I was really impressed by the document pouch. We plan to keep important documents in it like our passports, insurance information, birth certificates, marriage license, and if you have any special medical information, you can keep that in there and maybe a trust or a power of attorney. It's a really great thing for RVers in case of a flood or fire in your RV, which is terrible, but it does happen. All right, here we go. Safety first. Everyone's got to have a helmet. <laughs> I just no. fell down. Tripped. And tripped. I tripped a lot. Tripped. I tripped a lot. Okay. Not bad. Not that. planned, but not unusual. We have a little bit of a skinned knee situation Not and just a skinned knee. Oh, and a skinned ankle. And Ethan has a skinned ankle too, but he's like, whatever, it'll dry. Come on. 
Okay, Spawn, so hold that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Spawn, and also the. No child was purposely injured for this video. This is just normal and why we need a first aid kit. As full-time RVers, we are on the go literally all the time. It's our entire lifestyle. So it's important to be prepared for anything and have it in a compact, easy to access place. Is there so much room in here to add things that you might need? Like our family might need some different things as climbers and adventurers than someone else that might need it just as an emergency kit in case of a natural disaster. We can put a lot of extra first aid kit stuff in here. Getsco actually makes a pet first aid kit, which is really cool. And then you can just toss that in there too for when you bring your doggo on the trail with you. We've had plenty of scraped knees on the trails. We've had some bee stings, um, sprained ankles, choya <laughs> in the palm. There is a tool in here that you could use to take those out, tweezers to take out the quills. Even Cinder has actually stuck her nose into a cactus before we needed to take the quills out. Uh, John has stuck his hand in a cactus. Half of us have had cactus in our hands. Choya don't play. This is actually made for one to two people, so we'll probably be adding more stuff to it. But the nice thing is, is everything that we've ever experienced on the trails is right here for us to be able to take care of. As our family gets a little bit more adventurous and we get our kiddos get a little bit bigger, we would love to do backcountry hiking and camping and climbing, which would require us to go out into remote areas where we'll really need to have some survival stuff with us in case we get lost or stranded for some reason or someone gets hurt. So we hope that never happens, but it is always good to be prepared. As the non-medical person of the family, I do appreciate that there are instructions in here for the uses for some of these things. If both John and I get hurt and then our kids can help and have instructions on what to do. Everything is very well labeled in here. As you go through the pack, there's even a candle and matches. Oh boy, it is getting dark. Looks like we're gonna get to try out the uh, reflectiveness of the pack after all. Sometimes I wonder if we just jinx ourselves. <laughs> Talking about safety, bringing all of our safety gear with us. We did not plan on being here after the sun went down. We had a little bit of a scare. This little one got real scared and that's totally fine. And But it took a little while to get her down off the wall and so uh, then John had to go up and clean the route, and here we are. It is dark. The park is closed. We're not sure if the gate's going to be closed on us when we get back to the park. To go back is reflective, so it will be very bright and noticeable if the like it shined on us anywhere. For extra flashlights in there, if we need them. In fact, I might actually pull the extra flashlights out and give them to the kids as we hike back because we still have to like basically go through this boulder field to get down to the trail. One thing I would say as an adventurer, one thing that I wish that this had, it's got this chest strap here, but I would really love to see a waist strap on it. Follow Aaron, babes. I can in the dark right now. If gate is closed, Reserve is closed and you are trespassing. Pull close and the gate, may, the gate open. may open. If not, please call. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we got lucky. Oh you God. trespasser, you. If not, please call for police assistance in exiting. Oh my God. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go. Time to go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we made it back in one piece. Thankfully, the gate was locked and it unlocked for us at the very last minute, so that was awesome. A special thank you to Getsco for sending us the Ready Go pack. It was really great to have with us tonight, and it was completely unexpected that we would run into so many troubles, but we did. So thank you guys for coming with us on this wild climbing adventure. Be safe out there and be prepared, and we'll see you out there.